I'm Kevin Coleman with the Saddle Post, and I've spoken with the two of you about the uh, Military Tribute Museum, and you uh, have made a gun to another big step in the, the process. Can you introduce yourselves? Okay. Kevin, I'm Bob Leach, and I'm the Vice President of the Chillicothe Military Tribute Museum Board, and? And he is also the Treasurer, at least temporarily, until we have someone else step up. But I am Melody Lepsinski hatfield and I am the President of the Board for the Chillicothe Ross Military Tribute Museum. And you just got something from Chillicothe Council tonight. Indeed. It's June 24th, uh, 2024, and tonight we got a letter that signed by the members of the city council that approves the concept and that's something we really have to have when we go to various foundations seeking grants and other uh, financial assistance they want to know it's more than just a good idea and that we've got the city behind us in this endeavor so this was mentioned it's a, a non-binding resolution but it still is, it is a non-binding resolution but the thing is is that it shows that the city supports us and according to the guidelines for most grant entities unless they know that the city is actually in support of the project they're not eligible the entity is not eligible to apply for the grant so now the sky is the limit and we're going to start doing what we can do to raise money so that when we're ready to take the next step which would be legislation from the city then we will be in a good place to at least start doing things like space allocations of the building going in and having other entities engineers um, architects, things like that, going through the building, and we can start consolidating and finalizing some of our plans. So you could say it's sort of halfway to getting a deed, or a lease? It's, we want a lease. We want a lease. We want to do just like what the pump house has. So, I, yeah, we're about halfway there anyway. The, yeah, yeah. It's an important step tonight. Yeah. So any guess step. of a timeline? Can't be soon enough. <laughs> but you're definitely making solid progress. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. This was huge, and I can't say enough for City Council because they have just done an amazing job. And it's like Bob was saying that when they took um, a vote on whether they were going to go ahead and do this, they had one person that actually proposed the vote, and then when they said two seconds, that every single person on City Council raised their hand and that's just such an awesome feeling we could not have had better support from anybody on city council and councilwoman lisa bennett has been the uh, sponsor for this right. and she's been doing a super job uh, with the things she needs to do keeping us informed she's the one that made the motion tonight and as, uh, we heard from melody every other council uh, person uh, put their hand up to second it. So how can people learn more about this in case, especially if, if they want to uh, contribute? Contribute, and at this point, yes, we can really actively start taking donations. Um, right now, what they can do is they could contact either one of us, um, uh, with me, Melody Hatfield, uh, you can reach us if you're going to email or if you're going to send us something. We have a post office box, which is post office box 1003 Chillicothe, Ohio. If they have any inquiries, would like to make a donation, they can do it through that. If you wanted to contact myself directly to talk about it, to discuss or whatever, it would be 740-703-9957 or Melody Hatfield13 at gmail.com and they can also contact the Veterans Service Office that's in the county building or the Veterans of Foreign Wars and the message we get through to me and I would be able to talk with them and uh, help them facilitate any donations or questions that they might have. All right, and congratulations on the uh, potential military tribute museum. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Yes.